How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Hope you're all doing well and happy new year. Today we have to take a look at some news that could be very bad for DCG, but could be very good for some crypto investors. Of course, always do your own research. We're going to keep this nice and short. And if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button if you've seen videos like this before. I appreciate that. There are links underneath the video too in case you want to get some free money. Now, crypto has been largely unchanged so far uh, this year. Of course, we have hit the all-time high for 2023 today, uh, but you can see Bitcoin's basically at 16,600. Stayed here for the last 12 or 13 days. Not too much is happening in crypto as a lot of people are on vacation. But we should look at this. Bitcoin price by year. 2010, less than a dollar. Uh, 2014, we have $4. 2012, 13. Now, of course, if you buy at the wrong time, you could be down or just slightly up. So, for example, from 2017 to 2022, you would only be up about $2,500 if you bought the peak. But that's also if you buy at the worst time or one of the worst times, basically uh, around this time, almost near the peak, you could be down a little bit. But if you buy, towards the bottom or if you buy once we've all already fallen down a decent amount you would be up and that's something important to remember as time goes on now we got some news just a few days ago valkyrie wants to take up the reins of grayscale's bitcoin trust now we know that gbtc is in a difficult spot first of all because they have a massive discount uh, in case you forgot that they are trading at a discount to the net asset value of about 50 percent but also DCG, their parent company, is in a massive uh, a massive state of debt as well. And a lot of that has come from Genesis. Um, a lot of it has come from FTX and 3Commas and all these different companies that have collapsed, essentially leaving DCG at a massive loss and trying to scramble to figure out what they're going to do. And some companies like Gemini are still affected because they went through Genesis's earn program. Now, GBTC has been the cash cow for them because they charge 2% fees on a $5 billion uh, trust. So that is a significant amount of money, $25 million if I'm doing my math right, uh, every single year that they're making from this. But Valkyrie says that they understand Grayscale has played an important role in the development and growth of the Bitcoin ecosystem with the launch of GBTC, and they respect the team and the work that they've done. However, in recent events involving Grayscale, and its family of affiliated companies, basically what we were just talking about, it's time for a change. Valkyrie is the best company to manage GBTC to ensure its investors are treated fairly. They say that the proposal would be for current GBT shareholders to vote on via proxy. If chosen by the shareholders, Valkyrie would become the sponsor. Now, this is not going to be an easy process, though. They say grayscale filings state that shareholders take no part in the management or control of the trust and have limited voting rights. However, uh, McClurg did state that Valkyrie is aware of these issues and has planned ahead. He declined to comment on any specifics of what plan that might entail or what the plan might entail, but hinted that, that this wouldn't be the first time achieving such a goal. Now, what would they do differently than what GBTC has done already? They would immediately file for Reg M exemption. Now, Grayscale CEO has told Yahoo Finance earlier last month that the trust was not allowing redemptions as a result of the U.S. SEC shutdown in 2014, who found GBTC exemptions or redemptions, uh, rather, to be in violation of Reg M according to FINRA. Reg M is basically designed to prevent manipulation by individuals with an interest in the outcome of an offering and prohibit activities and uh, conduct that would artificially influence the market for an offered security. So again, the U.S. government trying to step in and trying to protect investors, as they say. Uh, they say, if approved by the SEC, the exemption would allow us to redeem shares at par value for shareholders who want to redeem. This would be through both Bitcoin and through cash. Now, they would also reduce the management fee to 75 basis points down from the 200 basis points currently levied by Grayscale. Now, uh, they see the reason that Grayscale hasn't already done this. They expect, or the, the person from Valkyrie says it's most likely because they really want to convert over to an ETF and that kind of takes the wind out of their sails, basically. If they allow redemptions, then there isn't as much of a need for an ETF. Uh, so they probably could do this, but it would kill the leverage for the ETF. Now, I think this is probably 
more unlikely to happen than likely, but I think it would be beneficial. So first of all, they would have to get the shareholders to vote for them to come in and be the sponsor. Second, they would have to be able to work around what the grayscale filings state and they would still be able to they would have to be able to basically take over gbtc and then they would have to get the reg m exemption so three different things that i think would be difficult to do uh, but i do think this would be beneficial to investors if they could do this because first of all valkyrie is not in a terrible position like dcg uh, but Second, they would also lower fees and be able to provide investors uh, their assets and there would actually be arbitrage investors that came in and basically ate up that discount. So I do think it would be valuable. It might be bad for DCG though as well because they would basically have their cash cow taken away from them, which could be difficult for the company since they are in such a uh, bad financial position right now. Let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Would you be excited if this were to happen? And let me know your 2023 goals. I just wrote mine down last night, and I want to hear your biggest goals for 2023 in the comment section. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.